Hello and welcome to a video tutorial from matthawkins.co.uk. In this tutorial I'll show you how to create a photo slideshow with Windows DVD Maker. Now Windows DVD Maker is included with the premium and ultimate editions of Windows Vista and Windows 7 and if you've got it installed it should be living in the C program files DVD Maker folder. So I'm just going to double click the dvdmaker.exe to launch the application and the first step is to add our photos so I'm going to click add items I'm then going to browse to a directory where my photos are and I'm going to select the first photo hold down the shift key click the last one to select all of them and then click add that's now added my eight photos and I can now specify a title for my DVD slideshow Matt's photos and I'm going to click options now the first thing you can configure is how your DVD behaves when you put it into a DVD player this first option will start the DVD with a menu second option will play your slideshow and then end up with a menu and the third option will play your slideshow in a continuous loop the next option you can set is the aspect ratio of your DVD and you've got two choices 4x3 or 16x9 which is widescreen so I'm going to leave that on widescreen. Uh, video format you can choose NTSC or PAL um, because I'm in the UK I'm going to set that to PAL. Um, you can ignore these settings um, pretty much and I'm going to click OK that's everything on that page so I'm then going to click next and what you can do now is specify a template for your DVD menu now there's various templates here to choose from and you probably want to go through them and just have a look at them until you choose um, the one you like for this example I'm going to use the reflections one as that's quite good Right, the first thing to do is menu text. So I'm going to click menu text. And what you can do is choose a font from the font list that will affect how this text here appears. So I've chosen Arial Black. That's my DVD title. In this theme, there's two buttons, the play button and the scenes button. And this text here controls how they're labeled. So I'm just going to adjust those. To change that to play all and this says scenes that isn't particularly applicable to photos so I'm going to change that to photos and then I'm going to click change text to save those settings then I'm going to go to customize menu and here you can configure a few items about how your menus are displayed and the main one here is on the menu pages that show your individual photos you can define the border that those photos have and there's various weird and wonderful shapes you can choose here such as circles so I'm just going to pick one and then I'm going to click change style then I'm going to click slideshow to configure the slideshow settings. Now this is where if you want to you can click add music, browse to an mp3 file and then add a song that will play in the background of your slideshow and it tells you how many minutes of music you've added and how long your slideshow is so that you can easily add enough music to cover the length of your slideshow now here you can specify how long each photo stays on the screen before it moves on to the next one so I'm going to set that to 7 and you can set the transition that happens between photos so I'm going to set that to dissolve this setting here use pan and zoom effects for pictures I'll show you what that does in a second when we have a look at the slideshow and I want to click change slideshow to save those settings that's pretty much it for the setup so what you can do now is click preview 
and it will build a preview of your disk and show you what it looks like. Now here you can see the dissolve transition in between each photo and you can see also that the photos are being r randomly panned and zoomed just to make them a bit more interesting. If I click this it will go back to my menu, uh, main menu and if I click photos that will take me to the pages that show the individual photos and you'll notice here that it's animated the little thumbnails using the pan and zoom setting. I click OK. I'm going to go back to the slideshow settings and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off pan and zoom and I'm going to set the transition to a page curl and I'm going to set the time between photos to be five seconds. If you've got this pan and zoom setting you're better off going for a slightly longer page um, or photo length because you need those couple of extra seconds to give the user a bit more time to look at the photo. However, without it, you can get away with having a slightly shorter photo length. So I'm going to click Change Slideshow to save those settings. And then I'm going to click Preview. And you see now it's just displaying a photo with a page curl, it isn't panning and zooming because I turned that setting off. Whether you have panning and zooming turned on is, is up to you really. And that's doing the page curl transition. And I'm going to click OK. Under the slideshow settings, you'll notice there's also a random setting which will just use a random transition from this list between each photo. So depending on what, whether you want the same transition or you're happy with a random one, you can choose the appropriate option from here. So I'm going to click Save. And now that I'm happy with all my settings, I'm going to click File and I'm going to click Save As. And I'm going to save this project just in case I need to come back to it later. So I'm just going to save that in a suitable folder. Uh, there's already one there which I'm happy to overwrite, so I'm going to click Yes. Now that that's done, I'm going to click Burn, and it will now ask me for a blank disk. So I'm going to put a blank disk in the drive. And once that's registered, it should carry on. OK, I've put in a rewritable disk, so it's now asking me whether I'm happy to overwrite the stuff that's already on there. So I'm going to click yes to that. And what it's doing now is creating my DVD, including the erasing of the rewritable I've just put in. So the disk is almost finished writing now. Just a few more seconds. And there we go, it's just finished writing the disk. Now you can either make another copy of this disk by putting in another um, blank or rewritable disk. But I'm going to click close. It takes you back into the program and you've got another opportunity of saving your project there. But I'm going to exit and then I'm going to have a quick look on the DVD that's just been written, so I'm just going to put it back into the drive. Into Drive X. And what we'll see is a Video TS folder with the appropriate DVD files in. Now if I fire up Windows Media Player and look in Drive X and click play. What I would expect is it to play my DVD. So it's playing the photos with the page curl with no pan and zoom. 
And if I jump back to the start menu, I can browse the menus on the disk. If I want to go to particular photos. And there we have it how to use Windows DVD Maker, which you may already have for free, to quickly create a DVD photo slideshow. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please remember to click the like button and to share it with your friends on your favourite social networking sites. Thank you.